Today we're going to talk about how to do a three wire control setup on an Allen Bradley PowerFlex 525 drive. This would be your typical start stop configuration, which is probably the most popular hardwired configuration that you will see. And yeah, we're going to use the green button for a start and the red button for a stop. For this video, we're gonna be using one of our PLC trainers, the industrial control version that has the drive and three phase motor. And as the title suggests, we will need three wires. Actually, we'll need four wires because there's gonna be a jumper on the back side. Let's go and slide the cover off here. And I'm gonna pop the ethernet cable out of the way. In fact, you can just leave it off for this exercise. We don't need the ethernet. And we are going to put a wire under terminal number 11, terminal number two, and terminal number four. And we are going to first remove the yellow jumper. Now guys, note where this yellow jumper goes because I don't wanna get a bunch of calls that, hey, I can't, I took my yellow jumper off and I don't remember where it went. It goes between terminal 11 and terminal one. So keep that little jumper because you're gonna need it for a lot of the other exercises we're doing. But we're gonna put a wire under terminal 11, terminal one, and terminal two. So you should end up with a wire here at terminal 11, one, and two. And yes, our yellow jumper is gone. So terminal number 11 is gonna to go to the top side of the normally closed of our red button three. And then on the bottom side of that normally closed button three, we're gonna put terminal number one and we're gonna put a jumper wire. And then that jumper wire is gonna go to the normally open top of button number one, our green button. And then terminal two is gonna go to the bottom of our normally open contact on button one. So terminal 11 to the top of our normally closed contact on our red button three. Out of the bottom of it, we're gonna to connect to terminal number one and jumper over to the top of our normally open on our green button three. And out of the bottom of it is gonna go back to terminal number two. And that is it. And we'll put our cover back on. I'm not gonna worry about plugging our ethernet cable back in. Just wanna make sure there's no confusion thinking that that's doing anything. And we're ready to power it up. And as I said in the previous video, yes, there you can actually configure these in Connected Components Workbench software, and there's another software you can use. And actually, I forgot to mention the last one. This whole front will actually pull off, and you can plug a USB cable into it, and it downloads software for you and all these things. And it's all great. We're going to go through all that in later videos. But for this one, we are going to do it on the front keypad because I believe when you are replacing a basic drive, it should have a fairly basic and pain-free installation. And they've done a good job at that. So we are going to press the escape key and you'll see it says B001 and we're going to press it again. And now the B is flashing. We're going to press up to get to P. It says P030, and now we're gonna go up to P46. And it is currently set to one, and we're gonna move it up to two. That's gonna set our start source as these terminal blocks. Now we need to configure input one and input two for that start stop. So we're gonna go to T062, so escape, we're in the P's, we're gonna escape again. We're going to go up to the T and there's six two. And we're gonna change it from 48 to 49. And then we're gonna to go to T63 and we're gonna change it to 51. And that's all that you have to change to make your start stop setup work. So we're gonna press our green button one, which is our start button. And our drive is gonna start. And then we're gonna press our red button three, which is our stop button. And it's gonna stop. 